Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you with another Jeans and Boots video. Today, I have the Levi's 505 jean and I'm gonna try it with eight different cowboy boots, eight different toe shapes so that you can see whether or not these jeans will fit your style. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right, I'm wearing the Levi's 505 jeans right now, but before we try it with all of these boots, we gotta see the features of these, so let's get into the rundown. The Levi's 505 is a regular fit with a straight leg. This is the Cliff Dark Wash color. It's a nice lighter denim. Speaking of the denim, it's a stretch denim with 99% cotton and 1% elastane or spandex, depending on where you're from. And it is a mid-weight denim, probably around 11 to 12 ounces. It also has a zip fly, and I chose the size 32, 36. My regular measurements are a 32, 34, so I decided to what is called stack these jeans, where you get a little bit extra on the lower end so that you get that bunching look. The main reason for it is so that your jeans don't ride up when you're sitting down or riding horseback. But it's always a good look with boots, even if you don't ride. And I always like to do it with my straight leg jeans. It's a little bit different of a story for me if I'm going boot cut or like a relaxed fit. These Levi 505s are also made in Mexico and they come in at $59.50 at Levi.com. All right, now it's time to try out these jeans with eight different cowboy boots, eight different toe shapes. We're gonna go from the most round and work our way to the most square. If you wanted to skip ahead, all the time codes are in the description. Real quick, I wanna tell you guys about the shirt that I'm wearing today in this video. It was made by Isobon. Isobon is an extremely talented artist and illustrator who makes some great graphic tees that you can pick up at isobon.com but he also made the cover art to my new album, Life is for Taking Chances. And you can also get shirts with that art from my store too. I just want you guys to know about Isobon because he is such a talented artist and illustrator. You can follow him on Instagram. This is not a paid spot. I just really like his work and want to bring more attention to it. Now, let's go back and try those boots on with the jeans. Let's start out with the Roper boot. This is a Justin Roper with a Roper toe and a one inch Roper heel. Ropers are also pretty short. This one comes in at 10 inches tall. And because I have itty bitty skinny chicken legs, often when I try to stack my jeans, it sags into Roper boots just because they're so short and it doesn't provide enough surface area over the top of the boot for the jean to evenly distribute over top of it. So what happens is it sags inside. Now this might not be an issue for you if you have wider calves and you sort of fill out the top of the boot anyways, but for me it is always an issue when I try to stack with roper boots and that is not a good look. I don't like the stacking and the sagging into roper boots. Uh, I guess you could also roll up the cuffs a little bit if you wanted to, if that was your way of doing things, to sort of do this or just buy a shorter length. But uh, I'm not a super big fan of this look when it comes to straight leg jeans. But I don't think we'll have this problem with some other ones. So let's move on over and try this jean with a U-toe. All right, we got a Hondo bull hide. This is Hondo's 2670 with a U-toe and a two inch heel. So we go from the one inch roper to a two inch heel here. And it's also 14 inches tall. So this is a tall boot. And you can see exactly what I'm talking about from the difference with that roper. It's a taller boot. The jeans are able to evenly distribute over it so you get a really good stacked look. And I feel like it's a great way to go if you wanna stack your straight leg jeans. This is working so well. Love this look. But now let's try it with an Arto. Here's a Tony Llama elephant boot with an Arto, which is also known as a medium round toe. We also got like a one and five eighths inch stacked leather heel there. And these are also about 12 inches tall, so we're running into a good look here. And the jean is able to evenly distribute over the top of that boot. And I think this is a great look. These jeans 
work great with medium round toes and some of these other toes like the U-toe. But how will they fare when we get into the pointy, the pointiest area <laughs> with a J-toe? It's not the pointiest, but it's the pointiest round toe that I have. J-toe time. This is a BNV Water Buffalo Calf Boot with a J-toe and a 1 and 5 8 inch heel. This is a great look. I love this boot so much. It also has a 13 inch top and it's a little bit more narrow of a shaft so it works very well with a lot of straight leg jeans that might be on the more slimmer side and I feel like this one is. It has more of a form fitting feel around my thigh which I usually don't get because again I'm a skinny dude with chicken legs but these fit really well at my thighs. It shows off the boot in a really great way. So here is a huge win. But what about another pointy boot? Let's go over to a snip toe. This is a Yeehaw Cowboy Cayman Tail Snip Toe Boot in Black Cherry. This is the first Black Cherry boot that we're looking at today. We saw black, we saw cognac, we saw brown. Now we're looking at Black Cherry and this goes so, so well together. Sort of a more casual look um, this kind of boot you might want to wear with I don't know more fancy clothes but this color combination here is working really well in my opinion sometimes it can go either way depending on the colors but black cherry is such a versatile color and it goes great here on this jean as well again here we got 12 to 13 inches tall a little bit more wide than what we were looking at with the BNV boot and that J-toe, but I still feel like it's working really well here. This is a great boot, love it. If you wanna see more about any of the boots that you've seen so far or to come in this video, links to each one of their own videos are in the description. You can binge, let's go. Now it's time to try this with a French toe. All right, this is a Boulet 8502 featuring the Cayman belly. We just saw the Cayman tail on those Yeehaw cowboy boots. Uh, this is the other side of the Cayman. A little bit more reserved with that French toe and a one and a half inch stacked leather heel. I think this works really well. This is a really dressy boot. It was my first dress boot that I ever purchased around 10 years ago. And I like to wear it in more dressy occasions, maybe with a khaki or a darker dress jean. I wouldn't really consider this a dress jean uh, based on the weight of it. It does have some nice stretchiness to it, but I wouldn't really say that it's anything to write home about. Nowhere close to as stretchy as the Wrangler Retros are or the American Eagle Next Level Flex. So it does have a little give to it, but I would say that it's more for light work or casual situations. And um, I probably wouldn't do this pairing a lot, but I still think it works if you had to do it. I think it's a good look. And of course, we're not getting anything hung up, any weird look from the top. It is a 12 inch tall boot, so it's pretty average all the way around. And it works well with these 505s from Levi's. But now we gotta try it with a narrow square toe. Let's go, these are blackjack rattlesnake boots with a narrow square toe or what blackjack calls a V toe and a one and five eighths inch heel. I like rattlesnake boots and I like this look a lot. It's working really well. You got about a 12 inch tall boot here. Look at that, <laughs> love these boots. Um, I feel like this works okay. It's a summer look for sure. I like to go with a darker jean with the rattlesnakes. I just think it looks a lot better overall, but this isn't a complete loss. I mean, their rattlesnake boots and these jeans go really well with them at the same time. So um, I'm all for this look. I think it looks great. I just would prefer it, I think a slightly, slightly bit more if these were a darker blue jean. But let me know what you guys think. Now, let's try it with a double stitched, well, wide square toe. All right, here we have a JW Boot Company Bullhide Boot with a wide square toe and a double stitched welt. It's not a super wide square. They definitely get a lot wider than what this is, but it's a good example 
of what this jean looks like with a wide square toe. And I feel like it might be just a little bit too slim. It kind of works. Um, but there's just a lot of boot on a wide square toe. Uh, and sometimes you want a more relaxed fit, in my opinion, or something that is a little bit more baggy down there, at least for my skinny frame, because oftentimes on wide square toes, if I'm wearing a slimmer or straight leg jean, that toe shape just looks wider than what my legs are, and it just looks goofy. So relaxed or something a little bit more wide at the bottom that sort of comes down, to that heel a little bit more. The opening of these jeans quite aren't wide enough to come down towards that heel. And that's kind of where I like to have my jeans rest on a wide square toe. Um, so I'm sort of middle of the road on this one. Definitely not my favorite, could be better, could cut this a little bit, but I don't really like to do that because then you're just adding a weak point in your jeans and they'll just end up lasting uh, much less of a time in my opinion. So, not a, not a huge fan of this look, but I like the color combination. And if you guys are watching this video within the first week or so of it being posted, I am doing a giveaway for a brand new pair of JW Boot Company boots. You can check out that up here or at the links in the description. And if you're too late, then definitely subscribe because I do giveaways all the time and it's a lot of fun. You won't want to miss it, so definitely subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what your favorite combination was with these jeans and boots and what you think of the Levi's 505. <laughs> you guys are the best. Peace. Levi's 505. They look good in the fight. On some boots they lack but they look good with the stack, so they're worth a try. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this video up here about the Levi's 501 jeans? Or I got a music video down here. If you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.